you know, I was practicing for a while and I was all about form. I used to wear like, you know, it was, I, it was, Islam at that time was, uh, was very um, much about how you looked, you know, so not only did you have to wear hijab, but you had to wear it correctly. And then you had to wear, you know, it was very, um, I don't know, it was just a different message then about looking very Muslim. So I used to walk around all black. Like, I would wear, you know, jibab and hijab, and I would have no makeup on, and I was just like, you know, like, <laughs> no and I, nothing, no smile, no, actually, intentionally, I would not smile, I'm not kidding, and I had friends who would be like, Osai, why do you walk around like this, because I was on college campus, and I'm just like, and I would say, you know, I said, because I want the far to know, I'm not afraid of that. <laughs> so I'm like, well, that's how I used to walk around with that kind of energy. Can you imagine how how un-Islamic that really is when you start to understand? But I just thought that was it was a very yeah, interesting way of uh, practicing back then. So I used to walk around like that, and I used to judge people all the time for how they weren't dressed the way that I thought they should dress. And I'm someone, you know, again, I was I thought I was on the right path, and I thought this is what Islam is. One day, I was at Oakland Airport, and I'll share this story just to show you again how this hit me. I was at Oakland Airport, and I was waiting for a ride. This car pulls up, and this lady walks out. She's like, you know, typical white American, you know, woman, and she's wearing like a tank top and shorts, like short shorts. And of course, I'm sitting there in my all my gear to the bed, and I'm just like, you know, I've got like daggers coming out of my eyes towards this lady, you know, I'm like, look at her, look how she's dressed, like, what is this, it's ridiculous, you know, I have all these terrible thoughts in my mind, and I swear to you this happens, she, um, cause she's, she's in her, you know, she has a trunk open and she's moving stuff in her car, this is where all these thoughts are coming, she sees me, and she like looks right at me, and I was like, oh dang, you know, like, are my thoughts out, <laughs> out of my head, like, are they, you know, is she hearing my thoughts? Like, it just felt very awkward to see this woman that I'm thinking about all these terrible things looking at me because there's, it's a hus you know, bustling airport. A lot of people, you know, a lot of traffic. But she looks right at me and then she closes her trunk and she walks like directly towards me. And I was like, oh my God. Like, my heart beat with a boom, boom, boom. Like, what is gonna happen now? And she, this, this is what comes out of her mouth. Assalamu yeah. alaikum. And she's like, I know I don't look like a Muslim. I'm actually really embarrassed the way that I look right now. I converted to Islam and she starts telling me her story and she's just like so humble, so timid and just really feeling, you know, shy. But she's like, I felt compelled to talk to you because, you know, I'm, I'm raising my, my son Muslim and I don't have any information. I, I, I saw you and I thought it was like a sign from God that maybe I should come talk to you and ask you for books, like references for books. And you can imagine what's going on inside of me, right? So this is what I call, you know, those, you know, life-changing moments. Absolutely. Like, I felt like I just got hit in the face because from the outward, just looking at, examining the two, you know, people would assume a lot of things about me and assume a lot of things about her, but the realities were so far, right? Here's she's someone who's seeking, who's humble, who's coming with that soft, gentle heart, and here I am on my high horse thinking I was something, you know? So it, it really did wake me up and that was a turning point for me to realize like all these years, like you've been worrying about this, this, this. So that's why this intention matters so much because if it's all for naught, you know, if it's all for, means nothing if it's not done with the right intention. So we have to remember that every day, every single day. So we start.